Or or, or, yeah, or just go up uh, to 43 and 81. Yes. Wherever he goes in the walk. I have been dancing all day since I got here. Pretty scary, huh? <laughs> well, he is kind of, you know, buried behind the big tree, so they can't see a whole lot of it. I am not the first thing people see when they come in, which is probably, probably a good thing, because we, we want the toys to continue to arrive. As you mentioned here, Shannon, we are hanging out at Loop Background Auto Mall. It's our annual Q98.5 12 Hours of Salvation Army Toy Drive. And I'll tell you what, how do you, what do you think of the toys so far piling up here, Dawn? This has been amazing. We have had a very steady flow of people coming in all morning long. And the Q crew was mentioning this this morning, the wake-up crew, they're coming in with their Santa hats on and their good cheer, and we're so glad to see their happy faces. Absolutely. And, fine. and when the kids come in, it's a lot of fun, too. We have our friends at uh, Riverside Dental helping making this hour possible. They're one of Santa's helps. We appreciate everybody getting involved here. Now, I'm told it's you've got kind of a, oh, let's see, one of those aching backs. You need a little soothing there. We have something very special going on here today. In fact, it just started at 11 o'clock. Our friends at Height Rehabilitation are going to be on hand until 7 o'clock tonight doing chair massages. <laughs> well, you know, uh, somebody give me water, give me water. I thought you'd be first in line for that. There, by the way, height re rehabilitation will be here until 7 o'clock tonight. And what's cool about it is you make a donation. Those donations are going to go directly to the Salvation Army Kettle Carriers. Of course, we're going to take that money from the kettle and purchase toys for boys and girls. Shannon, I don't know if you've ever had a massage from Dr. Hyde's staff, but you just sit down and all your troubles melt away and you just relax. And, and it is going for a good cause. They're helping us out with the red kettle. There's still a lot of this that needs to be bought for families. They're willing to step up and help. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's really nice to see that the Dr. Hyde ate. <laughs> Let me tell you also that height rehabilitation, you'll find them on State Street across from Office Depot. So we, we thank Dr. Height and his staff for being part of our annual toy drive. We really appreciate it. We want you to get involved as well. Again, the location is Blue Backroad Auto Mall. All it takes is one toy. Maybe you can't afford to buy 10 toys or 100 toys. One toy will make a big difference for a child on Christmas morning. We're not going to forget about those kids who have to spend the holidays in the hospital. That's right, they need some cheering up, and people are really doing the range this year and coming up with some creative toys. Mark, I just saw somebody come in with two big bags full of wrapping paper. Oh, that helps a lot. We need to, so we're asking you not to wrap your toys, but if you have the wrapping paper, they can definitely use that. <coughs> a lot of folks stepping up to the plate. Kathy and Pat just walk through the doors here at Lou Backroad Auto Mall, and uh, they're from Poplar Grove. They brought a bunch of toys for some kids. That's great. We're going to wrap it up on this end here, and uh, we'll check in with you in just a bit, Shannon, here on Q98.5. Here you go. Still going. Too much ain't got. 
and we begged her not to go. But she forgot her medication as she staggered out the door into the snow. When we found her Christmas morning at the scene of the attack, she had hoop prints on her forehead and incriminating claws marks on her back. Yeah, Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa As for me and Grandpa, we believe Now we're all so proud of Grandpa He's been taking this so well See you there they're watching football Drinking beer and playing about two dozen men. It's not Christmas without Grandma. All the families dress in black. And we can't help you all the family. Then we open up the kitchen so that we can make some more things. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. There's no such thing as Santa. Yeah. As for me and Grandpa, we believe. Everybody sing the Yuletide Carol. Fa la la, la la la. Fa la la, la la la. Two.